If you have one of these GEPRC domains, no matter whether it's the 3.6 or the 4.2, this video is for you. I've designed some 3D parts that remedied some of the issues I had with the quad and made it even better. Let me show you what I've done. I really do enjoy flying my GEPRC domains. I've only had a few problems with the quad itself, and that mainly surrounds this O3 antenna that either gets shoved down into the TPU print here or totally pulled out and goes into the propellers. The way I've resolved that is I've designed an antenna tube that replaces the factory print uh, one to one. This one is designed for a, a PNP or a plug and play like I have here on this one. Then I also have one with a GPS unit too, and the factory GPS is a bolt-on and can get down at a weird angle and then it will never work properly. So what I've done is I've made it a fixed position so the antenna's at 30 degrees and the GPS unit's at 30 degrees and it's fixed. I've also put uh, a notch in here if you're running a conventional receiver so you can put your T antenna in it, so that works really well. The other thing that I had was I had an incident with this little guy here and I cleaned an arm totally off of it, motor, wires, everything, and I just needed one landing foot. I didn't want to order one from GEPRC and have it take forever. I wanted to get the little guy back in the air. So what I did is I scanned in this arm here and I created a whole new landing foot that's my design. It's the same height uh, as the factory one, so you have the same landing pad clearance off the ground but uh, it's a more rounded design. It actually weighs a little bit less. And on the holes themselves, I use the two millimeter diameter so instead of the slots, so the screws tighten up a little bit better. So that takes care of the major problems. Then I just have one of my pet peeves where the balance lead connector itself here, uh, you either have to tuck it underneath the battery or use a Velcro strap or something. So what I've done is I've come up with a balance lead holder that actually slips over top of the strap and then you can just put it in nice and neat just like this. If you've made it this far in the video, I certainly would appreciate a thumbs up and maybe subscribe to the channel and we'll definitely catch you on the next one.